What's going on to all of my Sagittarius? So let's get into this. Shuffle up these cards. <laughs> That's my cat right there. Making mischief. But um, shuffle up. One more shuffle. We can actually get to your reading. So, for you Sagittarius, you've got the um, the Hanged Man, the Ten of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the King of Cups, the Hermit, ooh, and the Seven of Pentacles. Ah, so for you Sagittarius, you Sagittarius actually got yourselves ah, a quite quite a reading here. So the moon, the ten of swords, and the four of wands. Well, obviously the moon represents some sort of intense time happening here, right? Some deep meaning when it comes to feelings and emotions. The ten of swords, the four of wands. Being, being over just kind of resting and relaxing and taking it easy but being over and letting go of wow okay so being basically letting go of of um wanting to be in a relationship and kind of putting that type of pressure on yourself more so specifically needing to have a family specifically and the reason why i'm saying that in the first place is because well it just came to me okay it came to me but also the idea that the four of wands right in other tarot decks it represents the pillars so it represents it represents the four pillar of, of 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 a home, like of a place that you go into, take shelter from the elements, obviously, right? But the four but the four of wands represents just that. It represents like the moon, deep, intense transformations, needing to accept certain things about yourself. What do you need to accept? You need to let go of something. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords represents, in this particular reading, letting go of what it is that you think that it is that you used to want back in the day. The Four of Wands. What is it that you used to think you, you would want? A family. A relationship with someone. Because I'm just seeing how a lot of you Sagittarius are like, you're, you're not meeting a lot of people who are really up to par you know who who have standards who have decency so you you certainly not gonna have a relationship with these people if they don't have some sort of decency of course obviously you sagittarius don't want that right so a lot of you sagittarius is like okay well if you don't even want the person that you could even be getting to know potentially right for a very long time how would you have a family with anybody if you don't even like the people that you're meeting they're not even passing the preliminaries right they're they're not even people that you should that you could really be getting to know two three four months they're they're really people whom you get to know and you find out something that that's potentially wrong with them because they because they're dysfunctional they don't really have a whole lot going on. And you Sagittarius just like leave them. You got to leave them alone after this because a lot of you Sagittarius are like, I have the standards, but, you know, and the, and the self-respect and the decency. But this person obviously does not have those things. <laughs> then you have the, the Eight of Cups and then you have the Page of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles now represents, well, that's because... It took you a lot of times, a lot of, a lot of trial and error, you know, trial and error. 
The Eight of Cups represents you having to do certain things over and over and over. You understand the type of hard work that you had to put in to get to the point where you know better who you are right now, currently. And for Sagittarius, it might, you know, I'm sure it might have been rough because Sagittarius is one of those zodiac signs that like when it comes to when it comes to matters of love, you don't usually see Sagittarius really being in a relationship, really. It, not really. Some of y'all may be thinking about Jay-Z, Nicki Minaj. Those are actually the outliers. Those are actually the outliers because they just so happen to want to be and, you know, want to be in relationships with people that actually fit their speed. But the thing with Sagittarius is Sagittarius goes through a lot of a lot of uh, heartbreaks due to a lot of people, you know, don't necessarily see eye to eye with the Sagittarius. And because of that, that's what creates that type of situation. So, <clears throat> so the Page of Pentacles now, the Page of Pentacles is about, but you will still have some people coming in, still trying to see what's up with you, still trying to talk to you, no doubt. The Ten of Pentacles, however, represents, are you even going to be interested in them is the situation? Or are you going to potentially look past them. Um, and I'm not saying that that's something that you Sagittarius will do. What I'm saying, I'm not saying that that, that, that y'all will do that. What I'm saying is, is that because you may be in a situation where you may still be healing from a lot of the traumas. So a lot of you Sagittarius may be like, cause I, cause I know Sagittarius off screen and on screen who going through some serious uh, transformations when it comes to the matters of the heart. And a lot of the Sagittarius are like, you know, at this current point in time, I really just need to take time out of my day to heal. I'm not really dating anybody as of right now. Not saying that I'm not looking in the sense that if I, you know, <laughs> if, if I got inspired to go over to somebody and try to say what up or whatnot, but at the same time, then a lot of Sagittarius I just know that a lot of the Sagittarius, personally, I know that a lot of the Sagittarius are not necessarily looking. So the Ten of Pentacles now is, is that are you going to be open for that type of stuff? Or are you going to be in a position where you're, you're still going to be healing? Now, if you're going to be in a position where you're still healing, then it's okay. You don't have to rush the situation at all. If you're getting, you know, if, you know, whatever transformation that you Sagittarius need to take is whatever type of transformation that you Sagittarius need to take, okay? Um, <clears throat> the Ten of Wands and the King of Cups represents this being a situation for you where you've also have to take into consideration that the Ten of Wands, Ten cards usually, like the Ten of cards usually represents um, something coming to an end. Doesn't always mean that, but it usually means something it usually means getting to a point where you've lived something and you've done something so much and you've lived it up. And now it's like, OK, you you've done that before. You've got the T-shirt and then now it's time to kind of evolve past that and be about something new now. Usually is what the Ten of Cards mean, Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. So the King of Cups now represents... If you do decide to get to know somebody, you want this person to be like this, where they do have some form of standards. Because I'm seeing how a lot of you, sorry, I'm looking outside. I'm seeing how a lot of you Sagittarius are looking at it from a perspective of, of you're thinking about how is it that people can want all of this and want all of that. And it just seems like they have no standards to go with it because of the hermit. The hermit is because they want to get their rocks off and they want to do what it is that they want to do. They want to have fun, right? If you catch my drift, they want to have fun. And they see you, Sagittarius, as the type of people to have that type of fun with. And um, 
the seven of pentacles now the seven of pentacles now represents this being a situation for you where um but you may not necessarily even be the type but you also have to take into consideration they may not care they see you sagittarius as having those fun shapes if you catch my drift those fun shapes those 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 different angles if you catch my drift and they like what it is that they see but what they don't seem to understand is you Sagittarius want this you Sagittarius want a relationship like this where you actually the person actually does have some form of standard right thus is the life of the Sagittarius But it's at a point where the Sagittarius, if you do have some, you Sagittarius are like, nah, you don't really plan on having any more. If you don't have any, if you know what I mean, a lot of you Sagittarius will be like, nah, I don't think I'm ever going to have because you're, because you're dating and you haven't found anybody. You know, you don't want too much dysfunction going on. But the King of Cups, so let's clarify the King of Cups. Let's clarify the King of Cups. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. So to clarify the King of Cups, you have the, the Death card, the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Wands, uh, and the Empress. Meaning that you want someone, that's interesting, you want someone that is decisive about who they are and, and who they are not isn't about the dysfunction that you've experienced so much of. The Nine of Cups, the Ten of Wands um, is confident, um, knows how to walk away, like I said, in conjunction with the, the Death card, knows how to walk away uh, I, I, knows how to walk away from dysfunctional relationships, i.e., not in a not in any kind of relationship. So, someone who isn't about the dysfunction, someone who has a good head on their shoulders, makes good decisions, confident, but not not too confident, isn't in any kind of relationship. So they're actually single. And then you have the empress. This person is a type of person who isn't believing that they're on some sort of high horse, okay? But see, that requires a person who has, you know, who, who has very high, who has very, who's self-aware. That requires a person who's self-aware. So you, you Sagittarius should be dating people long-term at least who is self-aware. You should be looking for people who are self-aware so that that way you're able to know, oh, okay, this person, you know, they, this person is thinking of it like this or thinking of it like that. So that that way you can kind of cut straight to the chase as to who, who and what you want. <coughs> Let's clarify the hermit. The hermit represents, excuse me, to clarify the hermit. To clarify the hermit, these are people, Knight of Cups, right? Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Page of Cups, right? So these are people who essentially are looking for, right? Looking for what? Looking for someone that they don't have to be in a long-term relationship with. Some of those people who are dysfunctional, okay? And that that's the thing that you've been missing out on. Not this, but I mean, that's what you've been not necessarily been paying attention to, is what I'm trying to say, is that you haven't been paying attention to the people who don't want to be in a long term relationship, wants to be in a relationship that is very short lived, fun, but very short lived. And a person who 
you know, in all intensive purposes, uh, you know, can't be broken out of that mold. Some of you Sagittarius have been getting yourselves into relationships with people who knows that they don't want anything long term. And that's just kind of something that you Sagittarius have to get better uh, trained with, right? So that you can know like, oh, okay, this person do doesn't really plan on sticking around. So I'm not really going to put too much of, of energy into that. But that's pretty much it for now. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Um, also to uh, if you'd like to contact me, uh, right, and get a personal reading, my website, the link to my website, the link to my Instagram page, and the link to um, my book, which you can get on Amazon, are in the comment section below. Now, whenever it is that you go directly to my website, right, and it'll say my website, IG, uh, book on Amazon, right? It'll say those things right next to it in the comment section. Now, my website, all, all it is that you have to do is go to whatever service you want, uh, click pay here. It'll say underneath each service, fill out the information. And then uh, once I get paid, right, it'll it'll uh, say that. OK, but also um, scroll down to the to the to the uh, to the bottom of the page and then send me a message and send your number in it. And I'll go ahead and call you and give you your reading or give you a bird chart reading or relationship course or whatever uh, service that I provide. But I'm trying to make this YouTube channel go to 10,000 by the end of uh, June. As of right now, I have 3,475 subscribers, 25 subscribers left. Please, 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 before we get to 3,600, but I'm trying to get this channel to grow exponentially, you know, and I can only do that with y'all if y'all believe in this channel growing. So please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell and set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop these videos. Peace. Appreciate y'all.